Today is Wednesday, September 12th, 2012. I'm Bob Cervera. And I'm meteorologist Elizabeth McGiffin filling in for William C. today. Mm -hmm. William's going to be gone for the rest of the week, and we're happy to have Elizabeth here to fill in for him. It's been great, and actually we're starting off to quite the pleasant morning. Right now outside 66 degrees, wind still pumping out of the south southeast up to 8 miles per hour, bringing in some more of that Gulf moisture throughout the state. Temperatures working their way up to some mid 60s, still though holding on to some 50s up in Kirksville and down in Rolla as well. Throughout the day, we're going to progress into the 80s by lunchtime. 87 degrees, though, for that high, mostly sunny sky for us. Then overnight, we're going to bring things back down into some mid 50s before tomorrow, really bringing in some showers and a high temperature of 66. And we have plenty of sunshine in store for today, but some showers and cooler weather in store. More on that coming up later. Welcome back. The current temperature out there is 66 degrees as we see that sun start to rise out there. Humidity down to 69% winds though picking up from the south southeast at 8 miles per hour. Temperatures throughout the state though starting to warm up to those mid 60s. St. Joseph in fact being one of the warmer spots on the map. Just one degree below Springfield which is currently at 67 degrees. The main thing we're paying attention to though is this cold front indicated by that line of showers starting to push its way on into our area. Now we're looking to stay dry throughout the remainder of the day and then on into the early hours of tonight even. Thursday morning though, especially around 7 a.m. chance for thunderstorms affecting the majority of northwest Missouri. But then as we progress through Thursday, showers remain and then Thursday night on into Friday and more importantly as we work our way on into Saturday and the rest of your weekend, skies look to clear up. If you're heading on to the bus this morning, 67 degrees is what we're expecting. And then 86 degrees for when you're getting off the bus. Temperature throughout the day warming up to the 80s by lunchtime. 87 degrees for that afternoon high. And then overnight cooling down into some 50s, bringing in those dark clouds. And then tomorrow only 66 degrees for that afternoon high. Bob, over to here is a live look off to the west where we have some clouds building in, which is not going to slow down those temperatures, still warming up to the 80s, and then rain holding off until overnight. ABC. <clears throat> Currently outside 66 degrees, although we're going to warm up to 87 degrees before cooling down tonight into some mid 50s and bringing along a chance of showers for tonight that'll carry on into tomorrow. Okay, it's a Sunday, it's a brownie Sunday that thinks it's a pizza. Look at that. Mm. Mark just made, made it. Made Isn't it beautiful? Uh, Mark Denny, yeah, made it on air for us. And uh, the only thing you've done since we went to break is drizzle some chocolate on it. Yes. Chocolate syrup. Mm -hmm. I must add, Bob, that uh, recipe-wise, uh, most recipes have already been thought of, and I will get an idea and then do a variation of a recipe mm -hmm. that I find. Okay. So I didn't invent this. It's already been invented, but you can always take a variation of every recipe that you find. Okay. I had to give too. Elizabeth a little swat on her hand yeah. to keep her from trying this during <laughs> the break, so go ahead. True. Oh, I'm excited now. This is excellent. Thank you. Perfect capper for a nice meal. Mm -hmm. All right, Mark, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for being here, and we'll see you again tomorrow for a Thursday edition of Home